Welcome back, multifamily investors. We're checking out the new listings that have hit in the last, last 24 hours in the Western Washington region. You can see over here in the market watch the bar chart, there's nine new listings in the area, but fortunately 10 went pending. So we're still always ap operating basically on a net loss day after day. But here we got five new duplexes in Pierce. That's quite a bit. I'll be curious to see what that is. And then one seller finance multifamily opportunity. So let's dive into the Kitsap one first. The one on Olympic, 21 days of market. So I think it probably just came back on, on the market or had a price reduction. Um, it does say that it has completely remodeled with new roof, insulation, windows, paint. Uh, one two bed, one bath, another two bed, one bath, both 1550. It says it's a 6.8 cap, I don't know. Uh, it's an older property, 1937. I know I've covered this before if it's been on for 21 days, but uh, we'll just take another quick look at it here for your reference. Because that doesn't seem to be, oh, we got a little bit of mold or mildew stuff happening up here. It's not, it means that the room's not getting good circulation or moisture somehow. Oh, if we look also here at the baseboard, he look how rusty that is. So it does have some new flooring, but the appliances look pretty rough. Uh, you know, bathroom's not too bad. 445 is about as cheap as you're going to get for a, a duplex out there in Bremerton. Uh, this size, these two bed, one baths. I mean, the, the age is one thing, and I'd like to know what the parking situation is like. But anyway, something pretty affordable. Let's see what Pierce has. Five new. So actually has two new ones. These with the zero days, Edgewood, um, and then one that's been on the market a long time, and another one's with a couple that probably just came back on the market. Oh, actually, this one is the one that Rebecca and I just toured yesterday and did a video on. <clears throat> we'll get to that. There's one in Tacoma, Hilltop area, Central for five fifteen. A one bed, one bath, and a two bed, one bath. Uh, the rents look about probably in line. So you probably don't have a lot of upside there depending on the condition of them. It's kind of a funky looking property though. And it's been updated, that looks nice. Full size washer and dryer, like that. It looks like they're both maybe vacant. Uh, yeah, it's just an interesting design. Lots of parking. It even says lots of space to park a vehicle. Sure does. Um, and then the alley access. Not too bad for 515, actually. Um, <clears throat> just kind of an odd looking structure. This is the one that Rebecca and I toured. It was 600 yesterday. They just dropped it to 590. They probably watched our video and we commented that it was overpriced. So uh, they're, they're nice, nice, but they're only one bed, one baths. There's no access to the garage directly from the units. There's no access directly to the backyard from the units. So those are some things that turned us off uh, specifically. And they're just, they're just really small units. But um, I think this really needs to be, uh, they need to keep going. Let's just put it that way. Uh, this one in Tacoma that's been on for a while, it's 600, both two bedroom baths, about a thousand square feet. Um, probably too rich in my opinion still though, on that one too. This is a townhome style duplex uh, built in 2005. They're both three bed, two baths. This is a great house hack one because it gives you plenty of space. It's 1,500 square feet on each side. Um, you know, but 765, it's kind of tough. You, but you, you're, you're boarded up against all this commercial activity, which a lot of people get kind of turned off by as well. But it looks like you have a neighboring property behind you. It's kind of built the same design. Uh, what were the rents at? Oh, there were no rents on this one. So this is probably maybe owner occupied. Um, doesn't give us a lot of detail. So I guess so for three beds, that size off the top of my head, maybe like 2,100, 2,200 each. Uh, it still won't be enough to cover that price. Edgewood, uh, probably gonna be on septic because yes, most everything in Edgewood is on septic. One bed, one bath, and then a two bed, one and a quarter bath. But the same size though, that's odd. Again, no rents provided. So maybe this is a house, no owner occupied property. Um, let's see, it has a Rambler home or permitted. And then one bath duplex style income property. I wanna see what this looks like. Cause it looks like a single family from the front. Maybe they 
changed it somehow. Or there's a dad do. Properties in Edgewood, Edgewood tend to be a little bit bigger too, which is nice. Good schools compared to Federal Way, and you're not you're not much farther south. Looks pretty clean. Full size washer dryer, updated kitchen. <laughs> nice parking garage available. Here's your other unit. Uh, with a stack washer dryer, looks like in this one in the bathroom. Another probably a great house hack opportunity for the right buyer. Nice big garage. Because I'm not sure if you want to share like that yard space with some strangers who are tenants, but that'd be my opinion. Then you get all this extra parking back here, which is kind of cool. That's actually a nice property. Good spot. 650. I bet that goes pretty quick, actually. Uh, we got a, a Snohomish duplex. Monroe. 20 days on the market. So you had a price drop or came back on. Oh, yeah, this is the one with a huge lot. It's a, it's a great looking duplex. I really like it with the garages and everything. But you have all this excess land over here. Not sure what you do with that. Develop it or split it up or whatever you... But that's that seems pretty pricey for two bed, one and three quarter bath units that are under 1200 square feet. I mean, look, if, you're, if your rents are really only 1800 and you're not even at a four cap, really. But built in 1997, huge lot. I like, the, I like that property. I just wish it was a lot cheaper. And then we've got a quad in King. This is Federal Way. This is the same one that's kind of in a not so great block. That's why it's only, that's, well under a million dollars is eight hundred thousand um but they're all one beds too uh so 1979 traditional floor plan for these 70s 80s fourplexes they're just like a shoebox style you got two down two up uh, i'm surprised that they're all one bed so I'm built that way but anyway eight hundred thousand i don't know i think it's still gonna still gonna sit Rates are killing deals. If you haven't run the numbers, you know, 7% is making these deals tough with only 25% down. So the triplex, new one in Seattle for 1.5 million on Interlake. Let's see. Gosh, I have so many clients that would be into this. It's just the price is killing us. This would be perfect for so many people I know. Three units. Decent condition, good location. I'm trying to sell you on the, the LR3 zoning too. All two bed, one baths, no rental information. So I don't know why they're even been putting in a net operating income of 30 grand. So you're basically at a two cap as is, I don't know. And look at this, I don't touch on this very often, but look, 0% commission being offered. Mm -hmm. So how would we deal with that? If I've been working with you for one month or one year and we came across this deal and you want to make an offer, I'm not going to not make an offer for you, but we got to figure out something that's fair and reasonable. And this is still pretty rare, but I do touch on this with my investor consultations. I have the clients because here it is. Here's a deal that came up with a 0%. I have no idea why any seller or, and or listing agent would ever do that. Um, but to each his own, right? And so there you have it. And one five plus unit, probably. Oh, in Bremerton, that's nice. Oh, it's gotta be big at that price in Bremerton. Let's see. <clears throat> Eight unit, turnkey. So for turnkey, we pay a premium, right? Because there's nothing that's needed probably for the next few years if everything, sellers put over 300,000 worth of upgrades in this property. Um, they, let's see, they are all two bed, one baths, all 760 square feet, no financial information. So it's on septic. I don't really want eight units on septic. I might be able to do Rambler duplex on septic, but I'm not taking a chance with this many units on septic. Um, looks a little rough. I mean, boy, they put 300 into it. It still looks a little, I don't know. Look at this. Is that rot at the bottom of this siding? Do they just paint over rot? 
Um, it's too bad. Gosh, I mean, it has potential. Like all the parking. Um, boy. But for eight units, so we're not even at 200,000 a unit. That's, you know. Just off the top of my head, it's probably not a bad price, but there's no financial information here. So I don't know, we'd have to dive in a little bit deeper. Septic is kind of a, a no-go for me on eight units, so unfortunately. But you may feel otherwise, and if you're interested, let me know. Uh, seller finance, multifamily, Walla Walla. Um, so I do watch all seller finance in the whole state. This is not really my service area, but if you were interested in Walla Walla, I do remember this one coming up before I saw it. Uh, they don't state the terms being offered. It just says that it's it's willing to do seller financing. Um, don't think that you're going to get this for like ten thousand dollars down, though. That's very very unlikely. Most sellers still want twenty twenty five percent down. It's, they're not super competitive. What I'm finding not super competitive with uh, banks on their terms. But these are three bed two baths. I think this was operating as an Airbnb actually. Great investment property. Operated as a short term rental. Yeah. It's cool. Two, two, four garages too. Like great looking property. Um, but they're not giving us much information on the finances there. So I don't know how, how well it operates in terms of gross income and stuff like that. All right, there's nothing in Thurston. So that is it. Thank you for watching.